Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever had muscle cramps, trouble sleeping, anxiety, or brain fog, there's a good chance you're low in magnesium. Here's the thing, around half the population is deficient in magnesium. But here's the twist, not all magnesium is the same. Some types help you relax and sleep, others help with energy and muscle recovery. And some, honestly, don't even absorb well. So in this video, we're gonna break down the seven most common forms of magnesium. What they actually do, how much to take, and which one's worth your money. Let's dive in. Let's go over what magnesium actually does. Magnesium is the fourth most abundant mineral in your body. It's involved in 300 biochemical reactions. Things like making ATP, your body's main energy molecule, regulating muscular contractions, keeping your nervous system calm, supporting protein synthesis and recovery. It also plays a role in blood sugar control, blood pressure, and sleep quality. If you're low in magnesium, you may notice things like muscle twitches, fatigue, poor sleep, and even anxiety and brain fog. So why are we all low on it? Well, modern farming has actually stripped magnesium out of the soil, so even healthy foods have less than what they used to. Add in stress, alcohol, caffeine, and exercise, all of which burn through magnesium faster, and you've got the perfect storm. All right, let's go over each type, what it's for, and when to take it. Number one, magnesium citrate. This one's super common. It's magnesium bound to citric acid. It's very bioavailable, which means your body absorbs it easily. It's great if you deal with constipation because it actually draws water into your intestines. But if you take too much, you're gonna be living in the bathroom. So make sure you're dosing it correctly. The typical dose is 200 to 400 milligrams a day. Number two, magnesium glycinate. Now this one is my personal favorite. Magnesium glycinate is magnesium bound to glycine, which is an amino acid that helps calm the brain and the nervous system. Because of that, it's really gentle on your stomach and really good for relaxation, sleep, and muscle recovery. Most people take it before they sleep. For the dosage, it's the same, around 200 to 400 milligrams before bed. Number three, magnesium malate. This form of magnesium is bound to malic acid, which is part of your body's energy cycle, the Krebs cycle. That means magnesium malate helps with energy production, fatigue, and even soreness. A lot of athletes or people with low energy take this earlier in the day. The dosage is 200 to 400 milligrams a day. Number four, magnesium threonate. Now this is the brain one. Magnesium threonate was developed by MIT researchers, and it's one of the few forms that can actually cross the blood-brain barrier. That means it directly boosts magnesium levels in the brain. People use it for focus, memory, learning, and even ADHD support. You'll sometimes see it in nootropic stacks, which gives you around 144 milligrams of actual magnesium. It's pricey, but if your goal is better cognitive health, this is the best option. Number five, magnesium taurate. This one's magnesium bind with taurine, another amino acid that's great for your heart and your nervous system. It helps regulate blood pressure, heart rhythm, and stress. A lot of people who struggle with high blood pressure and heart palpitations really like this form. It gives a calm energy. You'll feel relaxed, but alert. The dosage is 250 to 400 milligrams a day. Number six, magnesium chloride. Magnesium chloride is really versatile because you can take it through the skin or orally. It absorbs quickly and supports hydration, detoxification, and immune health. A lot of people use these as sprays before they go to bed. The dosage is 200 to 400 milligrams a day orally, or about 10 to 15 sprays topically. Number seven, magnesium oxide. This is the cheap one that comes up in multivitamins. And honestly, it's not great. It only absorbs about 4%, so you're not getting much benefit unless you're using it for constipation. If you see oxide on your label, skip it. Spend the extra money and invest in something that actually works. So let's go over how you can stack magnesium. Different forms have different strengths. So you can stack them strategically to fit your goals. In the morning, magnesium malate for energy and mood. In the afternoon, magnesium taurate for heart and calm focus. For the evening, magnesium glycinate or threonate for sleep and recovery. And as needed, magnesium citrate for digestion support. You don't need all of them, but implementing different ones at different times can help you achieve your goals. Magnesium was one of the most simple and powerful supplements you can use for recovery, mood, and energy levels. So if you're not taking it, give it a try for 30 days to see how you're feeling. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below if you've tried it or are gonna try one. And please subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.